What's up, babies? It's your girl, Tati Chanel, back with another video, and uh, it's spooking season, but guys, okay? Oh, my bad. So, shout out to Nail Attic for sending me these gel polishes. We're going to be using Red Attic, and the other color is going to be Diva, which is a maroon color, so shout out to them. Thank you. And we're going to be doing some murder scene blood splatter and also some Scream-inspired um, designs. Girl, I know Picasso, no, no, you know, I don't do all that. So, I tried my best doing it. Don't come for me in the comments if it looks crazy or not. My bad. Um, so, we're going to use an old toothbrush, the ones that you use to, um, you know, clean your bathroom, mold um, your boyfriend's teeth, and all that good stuff. Just kidding. We're going to need a brand new toothbrush, okay? And we're going to submerge it. When I mean submerge it, your toothbrush has to be coated really, really good with gel polish. Then you're going to run your finger through the gel polish. It gets super messy, but it's really fun to do this, actually. Because there's no, like, science behind this. You don't need a specific pattern or anything like that. So it's really cool to use this. Also, I would recommend a glove. Super, no, you need this. You need a glove because it gets messy. Also, if you're going to be doing other designs on the other nails, I recommend doing this one first. Like me, I'm going to do other designs, and this was the best idea. Um, now, I'm getting the tip of the toothbrush, as you can see right here, and making more of, like, pigmented blood splatters. And it honestly looked way better and more realistic, like a murder scene, okay? And that's what we're going for. Love this. It was so fun doing this. Um, so, there's basically two ways that I did this. Right here, I'm not using no acetone. And I think on this other part, that's where I dipped the toothbrush in some acetone. You're not going to have your brush dripping, okay? Not at all. Just dip it lightly in some acetone and do some splud splatter right here, as you can see. Watch. Right. Hold on. After this part. And you're going to see how much easier that was and how much thinner it came out. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get the exact timing so you guys can be like, oh, okay, I see the difference. Right here. Right here. You see how easy that splattered? Do you see that? So, yes, it, I recommend 100% to dip your brush with the gel polish in some acetone just a bit and start splattering. It's so much easier, more, more thinner, and it has, like, different color. So, love that technique. Um, as you can see right here, don't dry it. Make sure to clean up the finger before you put it in the lamp because then that, the gel polish is going to burn her skin. So go ahead and do all that cleaning. And y'all, it just looks so realistic and so nice. The outcome came out who magnificent, okay? Beautiful. So now we're going to clean it. And once you like how everything looks, you're going to put it in the lamp. But, you know, your girl, little special effects, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. But, you know, I'm a little artist or whatever. So, this is what I did. You see that? Ooh, girl, I know you like that. Okay, so what I did is I got the Nail Attic Diva, which is more of the darker maroon. So, it's a maroon, but it has an um, undertone that's red. And I just went right on top of that blood splatter that we did with the toothbrush. And made it a little bit more realistic. So it looks like darker blood. You know, like it's been sitting there. So that honestly looked so, so much better. And look at the result. Period. Okay, here we go again. Look, I was running out of gel polish. I don't know why I didn't put more. But again, dip your thing into in acetone. I didn't do it here. Did I? I don't know. Yeah, I did. So dip your toothbrush in acetone. Okay, don't be like me. Look. Okay, right there. I dipped it in acetone. As you can see, it was dripping. And look how easy that is. And it's just so fun because it's like splattering everywhere. I just think it was so fun. Then going with the tip of the brush and just make random marks. Making it look like, you know, a murder scene. And honestly, this was my first time um, doing this um, design. So I was like, let me share with my babies because this design came out fire. AF fire. Look how nice that is. Um, if you're wondering what tips these are, these are going to be on my website. These are the triple X long coffin, no C curve. Okay, natural tips. They're going to be on my website soon for the big restock I'm having in October. And this color that's on her finger is not white. It's coconut in my uh, collection, in my original collection. So, 
I'll leave it in the description box below if you guys are interested in the color of this. And, you know, next I'm going to show you the talented Tati Chanel. Okay, your girl's a Picasso, okay? So right here, again, I'm deep deepening the color with the Nail Attic Diva. Make sure your maroon has the undertone of reds, okay? Not browns, because that's not going to look good. And look at how nice that looks. It looks like literally I got blood of my own and just like, you know, did some design there. I don't know. It just came out so nice. And just play around with it. You know, if you don't like it, take it off. Do it again. Take your time with it. But it's not supposed to be perfect. That's the whole point of this nail, you know. And look, y'all. Period. She fire. Hi, right, babies. Here comes uh, Tati Chanel, the Picasso girl. I'm not going to be teaching you guys how I did this. I just literally, like... I don't draw, okay? That's probably one of my weaknesses is drawing, I think. Like, I'm so scared to draw on some nails. I just think I'm, like, the worst horrible person that, that can draw nails. But, you know, she liked it, so that's all that matters. So, she wanted, like, a scream-inspired thing. So, first of all, I was so confused on how to make the damn face. I was like, yo, it looked like a V and then, like, a dome. I was like, oh, no. And then, guys, with white, ugh, I just hate drawing in white. White is, I like drawing in dark colors, I would say. Like, black, oh, my favorite. But white, Lord. But, anyways, we could just talk. You guys can watch. Um, These um pencils, what are they called? Oh, nail art brushes are from Amazon. I'll link them in the description so y'all can go check them out. I like them. They make, you know, make it easier, I guess. This white is from Nail Attic as white. <laughs> I can't talk. This gel polish is from nail attic as well and it's called white attic um probably one of the best whites i've found so far so i'm using that one um but yeah babies um we're just gonna talk i have an announcement to make so the restock is gonna be in october i know it's october already but it's gonna be in late october i just don't have the exact dates because i only have like about 75 percent of the things and I'm missing like that 25. I'm missing containers and I'm missing labels. I'm missing stickers. So that's basically what I'm missing. But the other goods have came in and they're so pretty. Obsessed. And I think you guys are really, really going to like them. So I'm trying to push it by late October. Hopefully by like Halloween or so. So hopefully that will work. But yeah, make sure you guys go um subscribe to my newsletter on my website so you guys can get the details. Whoever is subscribed to my newsletter will get um a free access 10, 10 minutes early before um launch time. So if I launch at 6.30, you will get a password to enter at 6.20 and you could be the first ones to um shop the website. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to have new colors, new decorations, new nail arts. It's just going to be a whole vibe. I hope you guys don't miss it. I'm really trying to sell out. And we should because these products are going to be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. But look, as you guys can see, like, his eyes came out like a bean. You know, a little bit like a bean. But, you know, it came out cute. Mm -hmm. But make sure to go follow me on my Instagram at Nails by Tati Chanel. Go follow me, please. You know what happened to my Instagram. And I need my followers back. But we're getting there slowly. But yeah, babies, I'm going to let you guys watch this, and then I'm going to come back at the end, okay? I'll see y'all right now. Ta-da! Do you guys like it? <laughs> Your girl tried. Your girl tried. She liked it. But here is the final look, babies. I absolutely love the French and the white and the dripping blood. It came out so, so cute. So happy Halloween. It's spooky season, y'all. So thank you so much for watching, babies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Nails by Tati Chanel. And make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can know when I post. And I'll see y'all till next time. Bye, babies.